Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another math video. This one I'm taking, going to take you through the rules of logs. So there are a few different rules of logs. I'm going to take you through the first three rules of logs that uh, you really should know. Um, so the first rule, so I'll call it law number one, is uh, the law of adding logs. So if you can add two logs together, as long as they have the same base, so I'll call it log base B of X plus log base B of Y. If you're adding two logs with the same base, then all you have to do is multiply what's inside the log function. So it becomes X times Y. So you take what's uh, inside both log functions, multiply it together, and then you can write it as a single log. So log number two is a rule of subtracting logs. So if you're subtracting logs with the same base, you divide what's inside the log function and write it as a single log. So you divide x divided by y and you get this guy. So that's, a, that's an important rule. Now the third law, uh, I like because it's pretty convenient. So if you have something like um, Let's call it m times log of b to the x, or b of, uh, b of x, and you want to rearrange this guy. So this exponent, or this um, coefficient out front here, multiplying the logs, just a number, m, comes in front. That's in front, comes to be an exponent. So that's the third law of log. So it becomes uh, x to the m. All right, so the way I remember my exponent laws or my my laws of logs is to remember my exponent laws. So if you remember your exponent laws, then you're good to go. So one of your exponent laws is if you're multiplying powers with the same base. So if you have something like two to the x times two to the y, oops, two to the y, you add the exponents, x plus y. So it's sort of like the, uh, with logs. If you're adding two logs, then you multiply what's inside the log function. So it sort of corresponds with the rules of your exponents. That's where they kind of come from, right? Same thing with if you're dividing two powers with the same base, you subtract exponents. So if you're subtracting two logs, you divide what's inside the log functions. So there is really useful to remember those things. All right, so let's have a look at an example of where we have to use these things. So I'm going to have to erase them. So if you need to refer back to them, you can you can uh, look back, uh, skim back in the video, or maybe hopefully maybe you wrote them down. Um, so let's let's have a look at an example. So let's do this guy. So we're going to simplify this one to a single log. So let's call it three log base five of four. Um, minus 2 log base 5 of 6 plus 3 over 2 log base 5 of 18 log base 5 of 18 um, so the first thing we can use is our third rule of log so if you look at each one of these things they have a coefficient out front which means they can be written as an exponent so we'll change this guy to log base 5 4 to the 3 minus log base 5 6 to the 2 plus log base 5 18 to the 3 over 2 so now this can be written 3 over 2 of course is in a is um is sort of a um, rational exponent I'll call it so that can be changed a little bit to um simplify what we have going on here. So um, 4 to the 3 is 64 minus log of 5 6 to the 2 is 36 and then I'll change this guy to log base 5 so this guy can be written as 18 to the 3 over 2 can be changed to 18 to the 1 half times 3 so you can sort of see how we separate these a little bit, so that leaves me with square root of 18 all to the 3. And the square root of 18 I can change to, so 
that's the same as 9 times 2, so I can change it to 3 root 2 all to the 3. So I can change it to 3 root 2 all to the 3, just like that. So now I can uh, simplify this even a little bit more. So if I look here, these two guys are being subtracted. So I'll use my rule of dividing. So I end up with log base 5 of 64 divided by 36. So I got to keep my log there. I'm not dividing the logs. I'm dividing what's inside the logs. So that's really important. I see a lot of students write log 5 of 64 divided by log 5 of 36. You're just dividing what's inside the logs plus log 5 of 3 root 2 cubed. So now what I can do is I can simplify this. 64 over 36 is 9. So log of 5 or 9 over, or sorry, 16 over 9. Plus, and then this guy I can simplify a little bit. So that's going to turn into um, root, th so it's going to be 3 root 2 times 3 root 2 times 3 root 2. So that's what it actually, that what that's what that actually means. So if you look at it, what we're actually going to get is log base 5 of 54 root 2. So it sort of simplifies down a little bit. So if you multiply these two roots together, you're going to get root 4, which is 2. So I have 3 times 3 times 3 times 2, which is 54. So this whole part here equals 54, and then I just got the root 2 left. So now I can use my rules of multiplying logs. So I have log base 5 of 16 over 9 times 54 root 2. And then that just simplifies down to that's actually going to log base 5. So, so all this stuff right here, 16 over 9 times 54, that's actually 96 root 5. And there it is. There's my, or sorry, root 2, not root 5. Root 2. And there it is. There's my complex um, unsimplified expression written as a single log, exact log. So that's a really useful skill to use because in the future you're probably going to have to start solving some log equations like that. So why don't we do one now, actually. So I erase this. I'm enjoying a lovely Thanksgiving, if you're uh, wondering. I'm sure you weren't, but... Alright, why don't we try this guy? So let's say solve um, log of 4 to the 3 plus log 4 to the x plus 2 and then that's equal to 2. So we'll use our rules of logs to be able to do this. So we might have to invoke another skill that we might might hopefully know. So um, we're adding logs with the same base. We multiply. So log to the 4. So ultimately our goal is to look for x. Log of uh, 4, and that's going to be 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 2. And then I can simplify that a little bit if I want to. Log of 4 of 3x plus 6 is equal to 2. So now I reach the step, what do I do now? Well, the only way I can actually solve this guy is to change it to exponential form. So that's a skill hopefully learned at some point in your classes. Um, if not, you can go back and look at one of my videos. So basically the way I remember is the base of my log is the base of my exponential. So 4 and then to this guy, 4 to the 2. So what my log equals is my exponent, and that's equal to 3x plus 6. So now I'm just going to solve this equation. So uh, 4 squared is 16, 3x plus 6. Subtract 6 from both sides. And then I have uh, 10 is equal to 3x. So I'll just write it up here. So 10 is equal to 3x. Divide both sides by 3. So x is equal to 10 over 3. Now, think about log equations. We always have to check because this guy in here, x plus 2, must be greater than 0. So um, if we have something where, <coughs> excuse me, if we have something where that's 0 or less than 0, then it's not a solution. So if I put that in, obviously, I'm going to have just 10 over 3 plus 2. So that's going to be still positive. So x, that is indeed a solution. x is equal to 10 over 3. 
So guys, hopefully this video helps shine a bit of light on some of the rules of logs and how we use them and why they're important. I got a couple more videos on logs, so you might want to check those out. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in class. Have a great day.